Welcome to see the stories. Yes, I was already so excited I couldn't even read the signs anymore. <laughs> but the signature segment of the Sphere of New Show is always back on our last hour. And this is where we get to let loose and share all kinds of stories that is hopefully going to be meaningful for me and for you as well. And we are entering... For all of us, yeah? Yes, for all of us. And as we know, we're entering the monsoon season, the transitional seasons of dry to wet in the tropics. And, you know, people often find that really unpleasant. It comes with a lot of sneezing, sniffles, and all sorts of stuff, right? Right, yes. I do agree. Mm -hmm. Officially, I'm I have. starting to feel uh, some sort of sore throat since two days ago because, you know, the weather, it's really, really hot during the day, mm -hmm. but then... Abruptly. Uh, in the afternoon, it rains like crazy. Yeah. And it gets even worse when it's hot during the day and you go into a building, it's really cold AC, and then you right. go out and then it rains and oh, it's so right. Bad, right? right. And that is why we have to do everything we can to be able to stay fit and healthy. So I heard, I've been hearing about this for a very long time from friends <laughs> of mine, including Krizia as well, yeah. uh, called naturopathy. Have you ever heard of this? Of course you of have. Of course I have. What about Akir though? I've that is from Krista, actually, <laughs> not Rupati, but just a little. So please, uh, ex yeah. elaborate a elaborate. bit. Elaborate, please. Now, uh, if you are not familiar with naturopathy, here's what I can tell you. Let's see. Naturopathy uses natural remedies to help the body recover from certain illnesses. The concept of naturopathy is based on vitalism and folk medicine, um, and this method embraces many therapies, including herbal, massage, acupuncture, exercise, and nutritional counseling. Yeah, they had me at nutritional counseling. Um, naturopathy is based on the belief in the body's natural healing ability through a special vital energy or an eternal force guiding bodily processes. Yes, the diagnosis and treatment concern primarily alternative therapies and natural methods. The counseling usually begins with a comprehensive patient interview about lifestyle, medical history, emotional phone, and physical features as well as an examination. So I believe you, you've been through to this. Yeah, the medical so history. what made you look for naturopathy before we go to the good stuff? All right, uh, so... Of course, before I found out about naturopathy, uh, I go to a regular doctor, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, modern medicine, mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, my, my son keeps getting sick, mm. like every month. Is it, I mean, coughing, cold, fever, you name it, every month. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. And we always go to the, doc to the doctor, and then the doctor will give us medicine, and then my son will heal, and then the next month, mm -hmm. he will become sick again. So, I was just very tired of the situation, and then one of my friends um, told me about naturopathy, and then I just randomly tried it, mm -hmm. and then it works on my job. And look at how vibrant and energetic her son is now, years <laughs> yes. later, and I'm really excited to find out more. Yes, well, uh, for more information about naturopathy, we are now connected with a natural path practitioner, Debbie Jean-Marie from the United Kingdom. Hi, Debbie. How are you? Hi. Hi. Hi, Chrysia. Hi. Hi. How do I call you? Or if you want to, to call, call us. Our uh, name. Uh, uh, Akhir, 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 our names Kai. are fine. Akhir. <laughs> So, uh, it's here. Okay. Yes. Where are you now? You're, you're, you're in the United Kingdom. Where? What city are you now? In Nottingham, oh. to be exact. To be exact. All right. Uh, we usually call her Budebi. Budebi. All yeah. her patients call her Budebi. So Budebi, not everyone here in Indonesia is familiar with uh, naturopathy. Including For example, me. our friend here, Akhir. So before we go any further, could you please elaborate more about naturopathy? And is it against the modern medicine? Because people want to know about that. Well, it's actually complementary medicine. So we kind of complete uh, the modern medicine as we know. So basically, if you see the conventional doctors, mm -hmm. they help people to get well by giving medication or any sort of medical treatments. Mm -hmm. 
but basically they based on the symptoms that present by the patients. But with, with naturopathy, we try to recognize the cause of the problem. So we try to help the body to heal itself from the cause of the problem. So we're not just healing the symptoms, mm -hmm. but we actually go to the root of the problem. Because mm -hmm. sometimes maybe the symptoms could be gone by medicine, mm -hmm. but it could actually repeat itself. Like what Crisia just mentioned about her son before, like, okay, uh, getting cold one time then another like next month mm -hmm. he will appreciate uh, you know like experience the same thing like how does that work how come kids nowadays mm -hmm. getting ill so often mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's certainly very interesting because uh, I've heard a lot about you because a lot of my friends, a few of my friends are actually patients of yours and friends of yours and I'm very excited about this. I really want to find out because I have an autoimmune disorder and um, luckily I'm in remission right now though I have been able, I'm the, one of the lucky ones who's been able to get out of medication completely but let's just say you are treating somebody who has some kind of ill or some kind of you know symptoms that is happening what is the process because it's very interesting how you how do you get to the core of the problem because medication helps with the symptoms but how does naturopathy um, uh, has its process to get to the core of the problems how do you identify those well the first thing is we we try not to harm mm -hmm. so that's the first thing we try to avoid medication or if they have to take medication we try to ease off the medication so and educate the client by well probably if the conventional doctors you can only see them for like about 10 or 15 minutes when you see me probably minimum you have to see me about an hour but prior to that you have to fill up long forms like law mm -hmm. forms so i get to know you better i get to know every system in your body because a human being is not just their symptoms mm -hmm. but the cause of your problem may be not from the core of that pain comes from for example the headache it could be because people that person is actually dehydrated so they they don't drink enough water as mm -hmm. simple as that or lacking sleep or or like in some vitamins like b2 is so close to related to migraines for example yep. or they're not you know like going to the toilet regularly mm -hmm. like every day that just headache alone do you know mm -hmm. what i mean like so we try to talk to the clients and then listen to their stories and check their their vitamin or m mineral deficiencies mm -hmm. and then we can get to the bottom of the problem let's say autoimmune condition mm -hmm. it's actually most of it is because vitamin D deficiency yep, yep. and then also the diet the diet that probably people don't realize some a lot of the pro-inflammatory food that we don't know that is actually pro-inflammatory but we eat that kind of in regular basis that what cause the immune system kind of doesn't you know work the way it should be right Interesting. So talking about naturopathy, in my uh, most uh, common opinion among you guys, so uh, I'm thinking that it's quite related to uh, herbalism. So actually, how is it different from herbalism? Right. Naturopathy kind of like we um, govern all the traditional uh, medicines. So there is herbalism, there is also homeopathy, there is also... Uh, acupuncture so we kind of learn all these remedies or techniques or treatments but then the herbalism is a special thing again where they actually studies deeply to actually eat herbs naturopathy we use herbals so kind of like the general terms the one that we use in the kitchen the one that we actually see every day the herbalists actually learn a different dosage because mm. herbals can be so potent and very powerful so you yep. need to govern that or or really study that well you know so it's quite different but we learn all the modalities we learn all different traditional medicine we, we but we also look for the evidence you know the evidence um from the scientific evidence so we're not just like the you know all using the herbals but we actually learn what does these herbals do to our body mm -hmm. 
All right. Uh, you've mentioned about um, educating your clients or patients, right? And I believe that that is not an easy thing to do, especially when your patient is very uh, conventional uh, doctor fanatic. Like, for example, me when I first started seeing you. Uh, now, how do you respond to questions uh, like, is naturopathy scientifically proven? Is there any journal that can prove this and that and this and that? How do you explain to them? Well, it is quite a challenge, but actually, well, I was, my husband always said that, just remember how you, how you were 20 years ago. Mm. You know, like, just think that whenever you talk to, you, you've learned, you've read so much about it, and then you actually prove it in your clients, but these people, actually completely new to this so when 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 i start to see a client i would come you know i would put myself in their shoes and i will try to explain from the simple things like the common things like common sense mm -hmm. for example like the vitamin d it's the sunlight it gives you happiness and everything and then actually really it's free i don't get it and check it if you actually like in the in deficient in vitamin d and then read about the side effects of deficiencies of vitamin D. And then from the kind of like educating people about vitamin and mineral, because a lot of people knows about A, B, C, D, E, K, or, or iron and zinc and everything. But do they really know what it means or what is the function of all these micronutrients in our body? So probably that's a take, it takes a lot of work and time to educate. Mm -hmm. But like, well, after a few years, <laughs> it's getting better. And you know, when people actually feel the difference in their body, they will talk to their friends and their family and everything. Even I have to still convince my husband <laughs> because <laughs> the reason why I become a naturopath is because of him. Right, interesting. Well, yes. yeah, okay, go, okay. You... Yeah, uh, let's take a study, uh, case study, for example. Could you please elaborate with the case of a day for being a naturopathy with the naturopathy lifestyle? Maybe you can uh, you can start uh, with the example when we just wake up, what we should do, and then until when we are going to sleep. Hmm. Okay, first thing in the morning, you can you cannot go wrong with water. Make sure you have big glass of warm water. It's warm kind of water, like, yeah. Uh, Kickstart. Sorry. Warm warm water, yeah. Warm. Yeah, warm water to start with, you know, like, I mean, this is like the general people that don't know anything about naturopathy. Start with warm water because to kickstart your digestive system, if you want to add a bit of lemon, it'll be great. If people like have the, if you have digestive issue and then you said like, oh, the, the lemon kind of like too sour and everything, it makes me a bit nausea. But you can actually try a little bit, a little bit and a little bit more, 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 and then your body will get used to it. Or you can put apple cider vinegar if you can handle it. And then obviously, you know, start with exercise. Exercise mm -hmm. is a great way to kind of like reduce your stress level, sweat out all the toxins in your body, mm -hmm. like that, that already been detoxified from from out of your body so you get rid of all the toxins and then you can do by you know like reading or or doing some some um anything that actually enhance or or make your life a bit more positive in the morning and then the, and then after that you can actually make some food that is actually healthy that anti-inflammatories mm -hmm. contain all the anti-inflammatories start your morning with something I don't know smoothies or 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 juice or something that is warm like bone broth whatever it depends on your constitution as well it depends on your condition and then um, find the, the the good food good quality of food because food is not just food in naturopathy um, if I can I may um, borrow the term like let the food be thy medicine and be the medicine let the medicine be thy food so increase your vegetables um fresh ingredients it makes so much different in your body mm -hmm. and then obviously manage your stress level as well like for example like breathing exercise before you eat uh, especially lunchtime when you actually already your stress level already kind of gone up and then after that just 
take a break and then just really mindful when before you eat your lunch and then basically just go through your day and then have dinner before kind of like if you can three hours before your bedtime and try to manage your bedtime in a good 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 time because sleep is medicine mm -hmm. if you kind of deficiency you have this vision in sleep or lack of sleep then it will kind of you know have you know you will feel the different you will act it will influence the way your body detoxify the way you kind of like um regenerate your cells and everything else and also it will affect the way you produce you know your your product your your energy production as well the next day mm -hmm. so you're you're not going to be depending on the caffeine the sugar and everything so that's pretty much like just like normal but we just choose what kind of how how we see our life everything that we put in our mouth everything that we do or think is this beneficial to my health or is this going to make me ill right. so I really like this because it's, it's it reminds us to be mindful about everything about what we do including about what when we, we consume, are yeah. exactly but here's a, a big question right because um, what I've experienced was I've didn't have vitamin deficiencies or perhaps I had a couple of things but it was still there the autoimmune disease so the question is you've mentioned at the beginning that it complements right it completes the you know the actual medical you know medical uh, medical side of things and the question is can naturopathy cure or really help with the serious diseases such as stroke and cancer and what is the line that when we do already have a naturopathic lifestyle, when we do that, uh, we still have to see the doctor when we have these serious conditions. Well, my vision and vision is actually we naturopathic medicine and allopathic medicine can actually go mm -hmm. together, yeah. you know, side by side sort of thing. That's the most ideal thing because some condition maybe we still need to manage with the medication. But the thing is, um, well, one of the reasons I became a naturopath because I helped my husband to be free from cancer. I legally I cannot use the word heal. So we use the, the term we help to bring the optimum health back in mm -hmm. people's body, in our patients' body. So um, what is optimum health? It could be different from people to people, you know, different individuals, how much they want to put the work in, how much they want to change their diet, how much they want to control their stress or even change their lifestyle. Mm -hmm. So yes, I've, I've helped my husband free from cancer for 13 years now, autoimmune condition, remission uh, within six months or even rare cancer. So I help with, but that depends. Um, if you say, how can we, when we, do we actually go to allopathic medicine? Well, obviously acute condition, like when you have accidents, don't come to me, please. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> Just go to a &E. and then And then after that, with all the medication and everything, if there's any side effects, then you can come to me to help to, to, to regenerate the cells, um, to f recover, fully recover. And um, also like if basically most disease in the world is chronic condition, mm -hmm. that's actually better to try the naturopathic medicine first. Because mm -hmm. if something that actually caused by your diet and your lifestyle, medicine only helps to reduce the symptoms. Mm kind of mask your problem or reduce your pain. But in long term, it will not help to actually heal the cause of the problem. So yeah, it's it's my vision and mission is to hopefully we will be able to actually do naturopathic medicine and allopathic medicine side by side. Because at the end of the day, it's all evidence-based. There is actually journals and I study in the UK for five years and actually we have to use the evidence-based medicine yeah. right all right thank you so much ibu Debi, uh, for being with us today virtually yes uh, with the thank three you. hour new show thank you so much stay healthy and uh please keep spreading the message about naturopathy to us indonesians thank you thank you so much Bye -bye. thank you thank you thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Later. Yeah.